Hi, this is Dave Myers with Paper Trail Financial. Uh, in this screencast, I'll go over some ways to modify your QuickBooks reports in order to add both horizontal analysis and vertical analysis. Common sizing is a way of showing proportion on financial statements in order to compare data from previous periods or data to another company. This is done by viewing the data as a percentage rather than a dollar amount. There are two ways to common size a statement. Horizontal analysis compares a particular account to a previous period or another company. Vertical analysis displays your accounts in proportion to another account. For example, your balance sheet accounts in proportion to total assets or your profit and loss accounts in proportion to total income. Statements using horizontal analysis, vertical analysis, or both provide much more insight into your business's operations especially when you're comparing multiple periods or even comparing your company to a different business. Fortunately, QuickBooks reports provide some options for common sizing statements. For example, I'll go up to the report menu and I'll bring up the profit and loss standard report. I'll change this to this fiscal year to date. Now to make the modifications, I will click the modify button. And for horizontal analysis, we have the options here for previous year, uh, dollar change, and percent change. Now our profit and loss includes additional columns for the same period last year, the dollar change and the percent change. So the report now allows us to see uh, that our materials income increased almost 239% this year over the same period last year, and that our total income has improved 171%. Now I'll modify the report again and I will remove the horizontal analysis. Uh, for vertical analysis you can see we have four choices. Percent of row, percent of column, percent of expense don't really do any good. Um, however, percent of income does. So I'll check that and insert the percent of income column. Now with the vertical analysis we can see the significance of the accounts as opposed to just the change in the account balances. For example, reimbursement income is only one half of one percent of total income, uh, whereas subcontracted labor income accounts for over 18 percent of total income. But where these reports are really useful is when you have a combination of both horizontal and vertical. So I'm going to modify this report again, and I will add back in the previous year information, the dollar change and the percentage change. Now this is an extremely useful report, one with horizontal changes going left to right, and proportional changes in the far right column. So examples of what we can see with this type of report, labor income has increased over 1300 percent over last year and provides almost half our business's income now. Our total income has grown over 171 percent compared to last year. If I scroll down I can see that our gross margin is 60 percent. And if I scroll down a little further I can see that our payroll expense has grown 100% and is now our largest expense representing 26.8% of income. A limitation to the way QuickBooks configures this report is that we only get the vertical analysis on the current year, not the prior year, uh, which we can correct in Excel and I'll go over that in my next screencast. I'll minimize this report and let's take a look at the balance sheet. We'll go to Reports, Company and Financial, and Balance Sheet Standard. Now a huge limitation to the QuickBooks balance sheet is that you can't add a column of vertical analysis as a percentage of total assets. You can see here that we can still add the horizontal analysis but are limited to percent of row or percent of column for the vertical. So I'll go ahead and add in the horizontal, both the dollar change and the percentage change. And this provides us with a view of the changes in accounts. Cash increases 23%, receivables increase 346%, but it doesn't provide us the proportion to total assets for this year or last year. I'll minimize this and I'm going to bring the profit and loss back up one more time. Now as useful as this report is, it's not that readable in this format and if I were to collapse the accounts uh, we'd lose the detail from the subaccounts. so instead I'll export it to Excel. And here in Excel I'll change the page width to one page. And to make some more room, I will merge these first six columns across, merge and center, merge across, to get rid of the indentations. 
I'll get rid of the date and time stamp and I'll unmerge the first three rows with the header in it and I'll highlight the header rows go across the top of the report and hit control one the format cells alignment and center across selection and I'll shrink this column down so our reports in a much more manageable size